I turned a bison patty around and suddenly I've seen this sparkling emerald under the bison patty and I didn't expect it. If you find a horny beetle, it's always a male. The rainbow scarabs are amongst the most beautiful of beetles. They are not the largest, but if you see that shiny exoskeleton, this green emerald shiny beetle in the sunlight, it's just so amazing that a beetle that lives in poop all of its life is so pretty. The dung beetle fauna here in Colorado is very poor, it's impoverished. So in the old times, we had 60 million bison uh, on the Great Plains. They were eradicated in the late 1800s. When we had 60 million bison, they pooped over 600 million times a day, 365 days a year. That was a lot of poop. So there were certainly a lot of dung beetles, a rich dung beetle fauna. Now, well, if you go out there and look under a bison patty, you should do that. Just take one, turn it around. Uh, you see there are very few dung beetles. Oh, here's a wonderful fresh piece of bison poop. Out here with, with in a dry area with a lot of wind, uh, the poop builds a crust almost immediately. It's like this, what you see. So you can touch it with your finger and the finger is still clean because it's dry. Lots of people don't think about that. A small group of insects have a, a serious effect on our environment or on their livelihoods, but um, they do. They're very efficient um, recyclers of dung, of poop. And if you have lots of those beetles, uh, that is a, a wonderful way to maintain soil quality because you want to have a fertile soil in the natural grassland. It's very tedious, actually, to pick all the dung beetles out in the field. Um, so what we do, we collect the dung in a bucket, take it home, and uh, float it. The dung sinks to the ground, but all the beetles float on top. It's just interesting, all these brown ones that I'm collecting right now, they haven't been in Colorado 20 years ago. They just came in in the last 10, 15 years, and now they are everywhere and probably the most common species of dung beetles in the state. The rainbow scarab beetle is very uh, uh, rare. We found probably 15 to 20 amongst 80,000 specimens we found in the last eight years in our bison beetle project. What we want to study is if you bring a bison herd back into an area. And we started that eight years ago when a small bison herd was uh, brought to a Plains Conservation Center site. Does this have an effect on, a, on the dung beetle fauna? Does it regenerate? Do the native dung beetles become more abundant? During these eight years, they had about 40 bison on the site. Now they have it uh, changed to over 300, 350 bison. And uh, we will see if that changes the dung beetle fauna more dramatically. I've never found anybody who was not fascinated by these beetles until I told them that's a dung beetle. Then, ooh, then they were, uh, well, a little bit irritated because people think dung beetles are ugly and little and brown and stinky. And that is a wonderful, pretty jewel of a beetle. <laughs>